Hello and welcome back to another news video for Final Fantasy XIV with me, Mioni, then posted uh, today the 28th of February 2023, talking about PAX East for this year. Uh, they say we have lots of exciting planned stuff for the road for 14's 10th anniversary and today we're excited to announce the producer and director Naoki Yoshida will be hosting a Q&A panel at PAX East focused on the journey so far. They say we'll be gathering questions before the show so now is your chance to pose the burning question you always wanted to ask about the adventures we've shared along the way. Attendees will also have a chance to attend a signing session with both Naoki Yoshida and Michael Christopher Koji Fox following the panel, and there will also be Final Fantasy, a, a Final Fantasy 16 panel at the show as well. You lucky devils if you're going is all I'll say. The unending journey of Final Fantasy 14. Uh, so this is um, a panel that's gonna have uh, if, if you do attend this, you get a mini double-sided poster, which is kind of cool, actually. This is at the Albatross Theatre on the 24th of March and uh, also on the 25th of March, so Friday and Saturday. Um, but the panel will actually be live-streamed for players around the world. So if you're not somebody who goes to the PAX events like myself, um, then you can watch on the official Final Fantasy XIV Twitch channel and also the uh, PAX East 2 Twitch channel. There's links in this, so I'll link this whole uh, post in the description of this video. And audio is gonna be available in both English and Japanese, which means they're gonna have live translation there, which is awesome. There is a designated thread uh, on the forum, the official forums, where you are uh, to gather your questions and questions will be accepted until the 7th of March. So that's not too long in the future, so don't hang around. If you do have a question, click that particular hyperlink there under the question gathering subsection and uh, go and post away. It says, please keep your questions concise and limit each post to a single question. This allows other players to simply hit the like on the post to show their support of a question and helps us prioritize questions. So that's basically how they're going to do it. It says, additionally, we'll be excited to share that Naoki Yoshida and Michael Christopher Koji Fox are also hosting the Final Fantasy 16 panel, of course, because they're both involved with that lovely game, which comes out less than four months away, by the way. Isn't that crazy? It's crazy to think. And it says, yes, you can pet the Torgal, a Final Fantasy 16 discussion with Naoki Yoshida and Michael Christopher Koji Fox. It says, Velisphere's goodest boy invites you to join a lively panel that will introduce players to the thrilling roller coaster that is 16 led by naoki yoshida and localization director michael christopher koji fox panel attendees will receive a special final fantasy 16 branded bag oh man i wish i was there that's on saturday the 25th of march and sunday the 26th of march and there's the local times it says like the 14 panel the final fantasy 16 panel will also be available to watch live so this will be on the square enix youtube channel the square enix twitch channel and the pax uh, pax east twitch channel so all of the main channels for square enix and pax uh, again in both japanese and english it says in addition to the fun panels both of our guests will be participating in signing sessions uh, shortly after the conclusion of each panel Tickets will be limited to the first 150 attendees at the front of a line prior to each panel and will be required to enter each signing session. Uh, appropriate face masks will be required to be worn during each session. Particip participants may have one item signed and posters will be available in case participants prefer to have that signed. Photos will be available with staff helping to snap photos using the participant's camera if desired. Whether you're attending PAX East or simply watching from the comfort of home, we hope you'll join us for a lot of fun during the event. So, there's gonna be a lot of interesting things from this panel. Traditionally, PAX East and, well, PAX in general and these sorts of live Q&A sessions do yield some quite heavy 
and interesting responses, considering that essentially they are questions that are posed prior to and can be read thoroughly. It means that they can create a cogent response to, to a lot of these questions. And uh, I would imagine we'll get some really juicy information and hopefully information about 7.0 as well, even though they say it's about the journey so far. I would imagine that we'll probably get hints as to what's in the future as well, even if it's just for the rest of this current expansion. But uh, definitely don't hesitate. Um, definitely go to that thread, uh, which I believe is over here, and uh, post away. Um, the rules are posted at the top, thanks to the community rep Zexos. And uh, when will we get Blue Mage PvP, says this, per <laughs> this person. You see, that's a great thing. That's a, that's one I would personally press the like button on. There we go. Have a like. But there's some really great examples of, uh, of, of questions. And you can also be the person to ask the burning question. Anyway, let me know what you think about this. Are you excited for PAX? I'm way more excited for it now. I know it's going to be broadcast. And the fact it's going to be broadcast means that there might even be more information than we would usually acquire. Um, maybe stuff that they really want to share with the world. And what a great platform to do it. Anyway, much love. Enjoy the rest of your day. Link in the description and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.